Yeah, so I'm an international dentist from India. I graduated in 2018 with my internship. And after that, I came to US in 2020. Between that, I did my advanced degree in like oral, oral maxofacial surgery and oral medicine. And after that, I came here. Initially, at that time, it was COVID, so I didn't know where to start and what to do. So this was my first approach to uh, like having higher studies in US. So by chance, when I was when I came to US, I started living in LA. So at that time, my husband was also a postdoc in USC, Viterbi School, and he did his PhD from there. So we were thinking something like near USC or something. So we started searching pro programs in USC. And as it was a COVID, so we knew it wouldn't be in person, whatever I take. So at that time, I opted out for online programs and it turned very well. Actually, because of this online program, I had so much of flexibility. I don't think it would be I had so much of problem and the other thing was as I was in PST, so all the times are in PST. So it's it was like easier for me to it was on the like four to six or seven. The classes would be at that time. So I'm OK with that. So after that, I can cook, I can do all my household chores. And before that, like I can do and I'm consulting for India also. So few of my patients in India also. So it, actually, it's 12 hours difference. So everything happens at night. So I get the day to do all these homeworks and stuff. So assignments. So I didn't have a lot of problem regarding that. Yes, because I heard that many of my colleagues who are in Eastern, they had the maximum problems because it's three hours. And if it's seven for me, it doesn't matter for me. It's an evening, but for them, it's already night. They're sleepy. They can't concentrate in the class. So that was really what I heard. But for me, it was not a problem because I was in PST. Yeah, so it totally depended on the type of course I'm taking that semester. A few courses are very heavy and it's very new to us. So TMD was a very heavy course and it was on the first fall. It was the first subject. I didn't know how to juggle things at that time. So it took a lot of time. But if you ask me that I'm just graduating 2023, if how this semester was, it was not really that uh, like big one or I put more time to it. It's just probably the uh, heavy load of the course. And things which are new to it makes it more like time consuming. For me, if I take a whole like average and stuff, then it would be probably 20 to 30 hours a week, not more than that. I never did an online program in this extent. So it was more like everything is happening on and I can rewatch it as as many times I want. So that was a very because I tend to forget things in the class. So it was really a good thing that I'm if I want, I can go back and see and watch it and come back and do my exams again and again. So that was really a very big help. I did not have a much knowledge about TMD and orofacial pain. And actually, frankly speaking, India doesn't have this specialty as a specialty. So I did not know it had a so broader horizon. I learned that. And psychology is a very important factor for this chronic pain state. I had no idea. I probably read somewhere a line or two, but so... It is really a big thing, which I'm now applying to all of my patients in India. I do consultancy. So, yeah, I do.